Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be working on a new problem as part of GoMath's 2015 teacher workshop series. It's number 41 on the CSET multi-subject, multiple subject teacher certification exam, the CSET 2, the math and science exam. Today's problem is going to be involving algebraic equations and really algebraic computation. So let's look at number 41. It says use the equation below to answer the question that follows. It gives us an equation. All, all an equation is, is two expressions that are equal to each, each other. And it says, which of the following equations could occur as a step in solving the equation above for n? So we don't actually need to solve for n. We need to find a step in the process on the way to solving for n. So essentially we just need to do our algebraic computation very carefully, and be able to match up one of those steps with one of these answers. So I'll rewrite this. 3n plus 2 times the quantity of n minus 4 equals n plus 15. And before I go any further, I kindly would like you to uh, solve, solve this problem and find that, that step, that in-between step before getting to an answer for n, which we don't really need to do. Work this out. Work out those steps along our way so we can pick one of these answers. Pause the video now. Pause it. So you can unpause it and I can continue. All right. Well, I'm going to distribute the uh, 2 here to the n and the, the negative 4. So this is actually going to become 2n minus 8. And this will be 3n plus 2n minus 8 is equal to n plus 15. Then I'm going to combine like terms. Since this expression is equal to this expression or this side is equal to this side, what I do to this side, like adding 8 to get rid of the 8's here, I've got to remember to do to this side here. And if I want to get uh, I, uh, remove the n from this side, I can minus n here, and it becomes a minus n here. i got to do the same thing to both sides of the equation so I can keep it balanced. And when you think about an equation, you can think about a balancing scale. What you do to one side of the equation or one side of the balancing scale, you have to do to the other to make it balanced or equal. All right, so I'm at this point here. The 8's cancel each other out. The n's cancel each other out. I'm left with 3n, uh, 3n plus 2n minus n is equal to uh, 15 plus 8. I add these terms up. That's 5 minus uh, 1 is uh, 4n is equal to uh, 15 plus 8, or 23. Now, if I needed to go further, I could solve for n by dividing both sides by 4. But this is our step. This is our step that this is all we need to do. We just need to find that step. Now, if I wanted to go further, I could do that last final step of dividing both sides by 4. And the quotient of 23 divided by 4 would be our n. doesn't ask me to do that. Okay, team, this is a very, very basic algebraic computation problem. However, you'll see this type of question out there on the elementary and intermediate middle school math and upper, you know, secondary math uh, exams. And, it's, and there are these questions that ask you to do a series of, uh, to solve an algebraic computation problem and find one of the in-between steps. So don't get hooked up on trying to find an answer to n. Make sure you read it very carefully and find out that you're just, you're just trying to, you're going to stop as soon as you come to that step that matches up with one of the answers, okay? All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Take care.